Hello and welcome back to Lorefent Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights. I'm your host Lorefent. In today's Neverwinter Nights build video, we're doing the Arcane Archer Ranger build. Yeah, this is a very strong Ranger focused build, but with some Arcane Archer abilities and Sarah in it too. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Nights videos like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to so be updated on my build videos and more. Now, uh, please note the. Uh, Advantages is, yeah, you're going to be very strong in the range department. You'll be weak in the, what do you call it, melee department, but that won't matter because range is your strength. You also will use your uh, ammo companions, plus the great news about ranger is favorite enemies. So, what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and just create the uh, character and let's get this thing started. Now, we're going to go male, female, it doesn't matter for gender. As for races... You got two choices, Elf or Half-Elf. You cannot be any other due to the fact that Arcane Archer has a race uh, prerequisite. So we're going to go ahead and pick Elf. That's the best of the two. Portraits, you have your own custom ones. More power to you. If not, the Bioware ones are fine. As for classes, let me go ahead and explain. We're going to go ahead and level up the first seven levels as a Ranger. That's going to be our main class. One level Wizard and the rest of his Arcane Archer. And we're going to need his point blank shot, being an elf or a half elf, and of course a weapon focus and a bow. We're going to be doing that early on. So alignment will not matter, so if you don't want to be smited, go ahead and use the uh, neutral ones. You'll uh, do find that department. As for abilities, this one's going to be a bit weird. I'm going to get dexterity to 22, and then I'm going to switch to strength to 22. If you don't like that, then uh, switch to uh, dexterity. Focus a little bit more on that, so... I'm going to have 14 Strength, 16 Dexterity, 12 Constitution, 14 Wisdom for uh, Maximum uh, Spellcasting for a Ranger, 14 Intelligence, and 8 Charisma. That should uh, definitely do it there. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the uh, skills next. Now the skills, I'm going to say some of it's optional. Like for example, if you don't like the uh, Ammo Empathy, you can skip that and uh, put in something else. Discipline concentration, that's very vital. You want that heal, definitely. That's a bit overpowering. Hide and move silently, you uh, want that too. It'll help you out big time to start up combat at least. Last but not least, persuade is optional. That is always optional. So as for feats, we're going to obviously knock out one of the prerequisites right now. Point blank shot. That means when foes are in melee range with this feat you have now, you will not get penalized. In fact, you'll uh, get a nice bonus damage. The closer they are to you, yeah. That's a great deal. Now, favorite enemies. I'm going to probably say either start out with uh, human or elf. Those are the uh, common types. If you uh, want to, you can pick the uh, orc races or goblinoids. I pick human, though, for now, since we're facing them most likely. And we're going to, uh, I'm going to do uh, suggestions on uh, favorite enemies as we uh, move forward. Now, uh, as my uh, final advice, here's it's very simply. You uh, definitely want the longbow if you're going like a uh, elf or half elf, since that's your only choice. It's really uh, good. Other than that, only use the ranger spells for like buffing really and etc. Use your uh, companion when you do get it as a tank. It will be hard starting out as a ranger, however, when you get towards the arcane archer, things will be looking up for you. So, I'm just going to go ahead and finalize some things and then I'm going to start up leveling up and that should do it. And here we go on the next part of the video. Now at the next portion of this video is leveling up. As I said before, you're going to start out as Ranger 2 through 7. After when you get to level 8, you will uh, be one level wizard. We're going to grab that for the prerequisite also for the Arcane Archer. From I think level 9 to 18, if it is, you get 10 levels of the Arcane Archer. Then back to Ranger for the rest of the time. Very easy leveling scheme. So we're going to go ahead and level up. You could do his Animal Empathy. That's optional. You don't like it. Pick something else. Concentration, Discipline, definitely want. Heal, big time you want. And we're going to do Persuade. If you don't like Persuade, put in High and Move Silently, since those O's are uh, class skills and really good too. And I'm, right now I'm just setting up Animal Empathy just to show you. I'm just uh, getting ready to level up my Ranger some more. And uh, at this point, we're just going to just uh, level this up. This is very simple, just the same skills I suggested. And now we're on the feats. We're going to go right away to Weapon Focus Longbow. Yeah, we're going to definitely pick that since we're an Elf. Yeah, that's right. Elf loves long bows, and you know, they're really good though for this uh, build. Also good for Arcane Archer builds too, if you decide to focus more on the Arcane Archer end of things. And we're going to go ahead and hit the OK. And there you have it. And now here's the thing about Rangers. If I remember, I think it's like every five levels or so you get flavor, uh, favored enemies. 
so you do bonus damage against it. Now for stats or our attributes, we're going to go uh, do is from here on out is dexterity until 22, and then we'll focus on strength. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, go ahead and pick the usual suspects. Discipline, concentration, heal, move silently, hide, or persuade if I can. And I'm empathy too. Same thing as when we're leveling up right now. Well, I just mentioned those. Yeah, just keep on doing those. You'll do fine. So we got a favorite enemy now since we're a uh, level 5 ranger. And I saw I pick, I think it was elves. Yeah, so in case I'm facing drows or rogue elves or something like that. And there you go. We got two more levels of the ranger. Then we'll class swap to uh, a wizard. You can just sorcerer too, but it doesn't matter at that point. We're just borrowing that level for the uh, arcane archer. Pick this uh, usual suspects. You don't like persuader or animal empathy. You could do something else. And let me see here. I'm on the next level, and I'm going to just uh, look. Call shot. This is, like, actually uh, really good. You can aim for the legs, so you slow them down, pin them more for attack, or uh, aim for the arms, so this way they do a little bit less damage. Both options are very good. So now we have ourselves an animal companion. I'm going to be honest. I love the dire wolves. Those are always good for uh, rangers. You could pick a bear, you could pick anything else. Still, just uh, pick which ammo you love the uh, most. And I'm just going to name it Wolfie. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Hit the OK on that, and there you go. We got about one more level of the Ranger, then we're going to go ahead and class swap to the Wizard. So we're going to do his Ranger, hit the OK on that. And let's see what else we're going to go ahead and grab. Yeah, ammo with the Concentration, Discipline, and Heal. Uh, hide move silently if you can, or if you don't like persuade, you could pick those two and hit the OK. By the way, my ranger's wearing leather, leather armor for this whole entire thing. So we're just going to keep on leveling up the ranger, and we're going to switch it to the wizard now. So yeah, this is going to be the last prerequisite for the arcane archer. One level in an arcane archer class, or say arcane class, I should say. More like it. Sorry about that. Yeah, so you need point blank shot, uh, one level in an arcane class, and of course... Uh, weapon focus school don't matter at all i just did what i did the skills was just simply uh did heal that was about it uh pick the random spells you want to pick here's my advice on those well, i'd probably say it's just definitely go for identify so this way you don't have to uh spend 100 pieces of gold if you're playing like the original campaign or something like that just id and an item so we're gonna go ahead and just randomly pick spells since we're just gonna go ahead and just uh, get ready for the arcane archer and we are ready to go for that. Now that we officially knocked the prerequisites for the arcane archer, we're gonna go ahead and do it. So for 10 levels, we're gonna definitely do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do heal and let's see what else I could do. Looks like nothing else is for now. I could probably start uh, catching up on uh, hide and move silently, put some points into persuade. Like I said, persuade's always optional in my builds. I like having talking skills this way. I could talk my way out of things or talk my way into things I like to do and they don't like to do. That'll go my way. So we'll go ahead and pick the feet. Improve critical hit. This one's like really good here, folks. In other words, threat level on the dice instead of like the longbow rolling, you need to roll a 20 to do a critical hit. Now you just only need to roll a 19 or a 20 to get a critical hit, which is a very good thing, especially for this ranger build. So we're still going to level, we're going to do heal definitely, hide, move silently, persuade, optional if you want to do that. We'll put some points on that, just get that caught up a little bit. And there you go, so we uh, got something new here. Well, besides I'm going to load a call shot. And I think it was, uh, yeah, imbued arrows. Those arrows are very nice, so it's like a explosive arrows you do is uh, shoot at a foe. Uh, fireball damage explodes into it upon contact really good stuff there also we get enchant arrows so I think it was like every two levels or so you automatically enchant like mundane arrows into plus one or plus two three or four or five something like that it's crazy but it's crazy good see we're gonna show that real quick so yeah that's why the arcane uh, archer is very valuable if you're gonna even do it for uh, ten levels so we're going to keep on leveling that path, we're going to do Dexterity, and we're going to get that to 22, then we're going to immediately stop after that and do Strength. It's a funky uh, build for uh, this uh, video, but still, it works. I tested it out. So we're going to do the usual suspects, heal, hide, move silently, persuade, optional, of course. And now, next up, let me see here, I'm trying to look for it. We're going to go ahead and get some hit points, toughness. 
we got some definite hit points added because we uh, picked toughness. It's really good feat. So we're going to keep on leveling the arcane archer. And we're going to do his heal. Let's see what else is there. Move silently. Yeah, persuade. That's optional. And, uh, of course, uh, hide. Those are good, though. We're uh, just uh, on the same uh, trail. Let's see arcane archer. Yeah, we're going to just uh, keep on doing it. Pick the uh, same uh, skills I did. And now uh, we uh, just uh, got something new. Let's see, where is it at? I think it's Seeker Arrows. It's one of those that means you never miss at all. Those are really uh, good. I would advise definitely uh, using it in situations you uh, definitely want to take a certain foe down. Like, for example, a Cleric or a Wizard. So now we're going to just uh, keep on leveling up. Yeah, we're going to keep at it. We're still leveling up our Arcane Archer, and now we got his Enchant Arrow 4, so we get plus 4 arrows now. Enchant on our mundane ones every time we shoot our bow out with it. I did Blind Fight, so this way, if I'm facing invisible foes I see from afar, or I know they're invisible foes, I could just shoot them. Which is a good thing. And we're just going to keep on leveling up. Same thing, Arcane Archer, same skills. And a hail of arrows. Okay, this is like AOE damage for arrows. It's really good though. I mean, once per day or so, but you know what? Launch that baby. You can take out a whole bunch of foes if you're really lucky or just, you know, make their day go from uh, bad to worse. So we're still going to level up. Usual suspects heal, hide, move silently, persuades optional. And we're stocking points though now, so this is a good thing. So there, now we got the. Imbue arrows plus five, or say the yeah, enchant arrows plus five. And let's just keep on leveling up. We get the skills. This is the last time for the arcane archer, by the way. So we got the arrow of death. That's very powerful. And we're going to just go ahead and select. Where's it at? I decided to do a uh, rapid shot. So this way we uh, just shoot uh, just a whole bunch of uh, arrows real quick. We do take a penalty. And uh, let's see here. We're going to do is uh, arrow death. Now, your foes will have to make a 4 2 save. If they fail, they die instantly. And that's it for the arcane archer. So now it's the ranger. Now, next up, we're doing is the ranger. So from here on out, 11 to the cap. Yeah, that's it. We're uh, rangering it up. So what I'm doing right now is uh, picking discipline. Of course, uh, concentration. Animal empathy, that's optional. Persuade is optional too if you don't like those two skills. I move silently, so I'm just saying those uh, back up. And I'm going to say right now, heal will be definitely capped out. The other one's not so much, but still, it's all good. And I'm keeping the dire wolf. It's very good. Dire wolf is always great. So we're going to do dexterity, which is 21 dexterity. And we're still on the leveling train. So right now, if I remember right, this is the last uh, epic levels. Or I should say pre-epic levels. Sorry about that. Let me uh, make sure, zooming that in. I think, yeah, that's it there. So we're just going to go ahead and level up the ranger. And good news is, now we're officially in epic land. That's right, so we're at level 21. And that's a good thing now, so we get to have some access to some neat feats, etc. I'm going to do first is go ahead and do a epic uh, weapon focus, which is a uh, longbow. So this way we get a little more damage to our uh, longbow every time we use it. Hit that, that's number one. Epic Proudness, give us more damage too, which is really good. So we'll get those two out of the way. Still do the Dire Wolf, and we're all set. Now we're going to go ahead and level up our Ranger again. And at this point, if you're playing Hordes of the Underdark, you're just pinging things from a distance, causing those, uh, you know, Underdark uh, foes terror, etc. So we're just going to keep on leveling up our Ranger. By now, if I remember right, we're going to start to get some uh, decent ranger spells. And we're just going to just uh, keep at it. Keep it going. And we'll do Persuade. Yep, yeah, we'll always do that. Now, uh, please note, you will also get the dual wielding feats for the rangers. If you want to dual wield, that's fine for melee weapons, but stick with the bow and arrow. Since you're focusing on that. And we just did Dexterity. So that is the last time we're going to do Dexterity since it's at 22. So we're going to dump everything into strength from here on out. Yeah, it's a little bit odd uh, building the uh, stat department, but it's a good thing. So let me see what else is there for the feats. I'm just do armor skin to give myself uh, two natural uh, armor class, which is a very nice uh, boost. And we're uh, still on the ranger train, everyone. And we're doing animal empathy. That's optional. Concentration, discipline, heal, hide, move silently. If you don't like persuade, 
put that in hide and move silently. There you go. We're leveling up our ranger still. Usual suspects on the skills. Including the two optional ones uh, I just said. So we'll just uh, keep at it. Hit the OK. And now we get to have a choice. More hit points or favored enemies. Guess what? We're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do undead since I like taking the undead on. And plus, you'll see a lot more undead in most of the official campaign stuff. Especially original campaign uh, Shadows of uh, Undentine. They have chock full of those. Especially Shadows of Undentine towards the end. So we're leveling up our ranger still. And we're do just doing just this. And now let's go ahead and look at the uh, feet. Great strength one. I decided to uh, start uh, building up some uh, strength there. And there you go. Voila. We're all set. And we're leveling up our uh, ranger. We're going to start putting some points into strength now. Every time we get to that stat screen. Or say attribute screen. And we picked the usual suspects. Concentration, discipline, heal. Hide, move silently. Animal empathy and persuade is optional. I still like the talking skills though. And unfortunately no feats in the last level. But oh well. Let's see if we get any in this level. We'll just uh, keep at it. And nope, sometimes you do get feats for Rangers. Sometimes you uh, don't. And we're just going to go ahead and keep at it. At this point, yeah, you're already uh, doing other uh, modules and such. If you're on the PC. Or you just run through the other campaigns again. Just for uh, happiness if you're on the consoles. We'll just go ahead and do uh, Great Strength too. Yeah, another uh, point in the strength does not hurt at all. And there you go. Now we're still on the ranger train. Yep, that is right. So we're just going to keep uh, at it. Pick the usual suspects. And uh, favorite enemies, I decided to uh, go for uh, dragons. Might as well. I mean, come on. We're facing uh, dragons at this point. Might as well have a nice advantage against them. And let's see. We'll do strength. Yep, we're going to keep at it. Just keep on picking the usual suspects. Animal Empathy and Persuade is optional if you don't like those two. Then put them more in uh, Hide and Move Silently or something else cross-class. So there you go. Now we're Epic Rangers. We're officially there. So let's go ahead and just uh, level up um, this right now. Just uh, keep going on that. Just pick the points. Yeah, pick the skills you want to do. And I'm going to say it after I'm done picking it. I'm just double checking. Yeah, I want the talking skills. And since we're here, we're going to go ahead and pick this one, Bane of Enemies. So any favorite enemies, now uh, our weapon will become uh, a Bane weapon. So that means we get some extra damage because those types. So if we're facing, for example, uh, some evil humans, guess what? We get some nice more damage against them. And we're gonna just going to keep on leveling up, keep on picking the skills. Yeah, Persuade and, of course, uh, Animal Empathy is optional. And we're at another favorite enemy now. Yeah, we're at that point. So we're going to go ahead and pick this one. I did Constructs because, you know what? Noms can be sometimes hard. Might as well have an edge against them. So this way we just wreck them like crazy. Now for uh, uh, favorite enemies, you can have your own uh, list. But I prefer uh, Human, Elves, Undead, Dragons, Constructs, Elementals, and Outsiders is my uh, list. So we're just going to level up some more. Just keep at it. At this point, we're uh, closing in towards the uh, cap. That's right, everyone. And let's see what's in our uh, feet list. That is greater strength. And now we have another thing in the uh, ranger-only pool. And I am going to go ahead and see where it's at. I'm trying to look for outsiders. Yeah, might as well go for those. Either way, you could do elemental outsiders. Those are uh, two good choices to do. I decided to do outsiders since they are a bit tougher, especially against the Baylors and uh, demons and devils. Yeah, just gotta watch out for those. We got ourselves another favorite enemy, and I am gonna go ahead and look for the elemental ones. Yep, might as well pick those too. And there you go. And we're uh, closing in right now towards that uh, cap. At this point, yeah, things are gonna start maxing out. So we're gonna just go ahead and pick the usual, usual suspects. Empathy and persuade are optional. Fortunately, no real feats. Oh well. And we'll just keep on doing the ranger. Just uh, keep at it. Just keep on picking what I'm picking. You'll uh, do just uh, fine. And we'll just go ahead and just uh, pick those. And let's see if we could find any more uh, feats. I'm just making sure. And yep, there's another feat. You know what? Might as well put some more new uh, strength. 
and there you go great strength four and that should do it one more strength level one more level we should be uh yeah we should be at 22 strength and level 40 so we'll just go ahead and finalize this for the last time this is the very last time to uh, swap out your companion if you don't like them now at this point i'm gonna go ahead and pick uh, this one just uh, random that's uh good and we are all set now for the uh, next portion of this video what i'm going to be uh, talking about is item setup gear and etc now we're at the next portion of the video which is uh gear and i'm going to give you some advice on that too now uh as for ranger spell entangles a good spell Invisibility Purge, if you have Alter Vision, that is uh, nice uh, too, especially if you're a half elf. And I just set up the uh, Arcane Ranger stuff, all four, which is good. Call shot. And as for uh, stats, definitely look for that strength, dexterity, constitution, and wisdom. Now, for the uh, boots, if you found the boots of speed, yeah, you might as well not do the constitution boots at all, because that's better. I went for uh, light armor due to the fact that I'm going to probably be stealthing just to start things out. So this way I won't be caught flat footed at all. Other than that, um, stock up on potions if you uh, need to. Know when to rest and definitely stock up on those healing kits because you're going to be probably using that quite a few times on your uh, animal companions since they'll be tanking for you. Now we'll go for the last portion of the video which is definitely combat. Now what we're going to be doing right now is combat demonstration. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate the foes we could do critical hits against. Now I summon extra uh, creature just for uh, tanking support, so we're going to use those two to tank while I'm starting off with the uh, arrow of death. Now be careful on stealthing because if someone has, they have true seeing, yeah, you're going to have to use your range on that. So we're going to just go ahead and try to take out the uh, wizard. Now unfortunately the summon creature died, however my ammo companions very well much alive. And we're just going to go ahead and finish this off right now. And there you go. And that's how you take care of foes that you could uh, definitely critical hit against. So you're asking uh, this uh, question on my builds, or you're just asking in general. What about foes that, uh, you know, I cannot critical hit? Well, guess what? This uh, build works out just fine with it. And you just got to use uh, imbue arrows unless they're immune to fire. Then the seeker ones are uh, nice too. And the hail of arrows. That's why I saved that. And we're just going to go on with just the two of us myself and the ammo companion so we're gonna go ahead and aim for the uh, lich yeah i started off with the imbue arrow or explosive explosive arrows now i'm going to do a shoot from a distance a very safe distance already we uh will down the uh lich so it won't be long until we uh, take out that lich and there you go so we're gonna just go ahead and call a shot to the leg and that should uh definitely do it and voila we have won the battle critical hit foes and immune to critical hit foes no matter we defeat them so here's my final advice before I uh, go things will be uh, tough as a ranger until you start the arcane archer path and then from there things will get much better especially when you return to the ranger level with more favored enemies other than that just uh, look for good longbows and you should be uh, set well everyone this is it for my Neverwinter Nights arcane archer ranger build video this is Lorefent signing off Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left. And on the bottom left, if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.